you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries february 23rd tuesday let's spend this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew chapter 6 verses 7 to 15 When you are praying, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do. For they think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your father knows what you need before you ask him. Pray then in this way. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors and do not bring us to the time of trial but be rescue us from the evil one for if you forgive others their trespasses your heavenly father will also forgive you But if you do not forgive others, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, Jesus tells us here not to babble in this prayers as if somehow by so doing we can bring God around to our way of thinking. some religious groups too would keep calling their god by all his different names hoping that by hitting on the right one he would listen there is no need to do this because god knows our needs before we ask why then do we need to pray at all the praying is not for god's sake but for our own it is important for us to become deeply aware of our needs and of our basic helplessness and total dependence on god we need to learn just what god wants us so that we can do what he wants and that is what the lord's prayer is about strictly speaking it is not a prayer to be recited it is a way of praying it is a list of uh, the things we need to pray about and it is less of uh, telling god what we want him to do then making ourselves aware of ways by which we can become more united with him it is very challenging and in a way a very dangerous and daring uh, prayer to make so our father god is the source of all our life and all we have and there are we say our uh, and that our includes every single person and if god is the father a mother of every single person then each one of them without even one exception is my brother or sister hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth is in heaven the three petitions are really saying the same thing obviously in one sense we cannot make god's name more holy than it is but we do need to respect that also holiness and that is more for our sake than god's the petition can also be a petition that god make his name holy by showing his glory in this case by bringing about the kingdom in its fullness we want god to be loved and respected and worshiped by all not in some future life but here on now and yet We want the loving and the compassionate reign of God to be fully accepted by people everywhere as part of part of their lives, individually and cooperatively. We want God's will for this world to be also the will of people everywhere. Yes, clearly all this has to be begin with ourselves. The coming of the kingdom is not just the work of God alone; it is a result of us cooperating with Him in our work. what am i doing in my life now for the realization of the, that kingdom give us this day our daily bread a prayer that our needs be satisfied for today 
a prayer that rules out excessive anxiety about the future. But how are those needs to be satisfied? Do we expect manna to drop from these skies? And what about the little word, our? Okay. Does it just mean me, my life, my work, family, our community, our town, our country, or much more? Is this not a prayer that we all work together to ensure that no one goes hungry? Forgive us our debts as we have forgiven those who are in debt to us. This is another dangerous thing to pray for. I really should not say it unless I am ready. And if I am not ready, I need to pray hard for forgiving heart. This is the holy petition which is spelled out more clearly at the end of this passage. If you do not forgive others, your father will not forgive your failing either. Yes. Do not put us to the test, but save us from the evil one. The final plea that we will not fail, but that God's help will be with us all the way. It is an admission for of our basic uh, impotence to set things right in our own lives and the world. Given the challenges of the rest of the prayer, we need all the help we can get. If this prayer were to really enter our hearts and minds, we would become deeply transformed people. So let us stop babbling it as we often do and really pray it phrase by phrase and live it. Amen. May God bless us.